Welcome everyone, this is Robert here with another Tech Geek 311 app review and demo. Today I'm going to cover a demo, or an app review demo, on an app called Swipes. And the reason I'm going to do this is per uh, app developer request. Now I've used this one in the past, I've told the developer some improvements they can do, they're willing to work on those, but they wanted me to go ahead and give you a review over their current update. So go ahead and give you an idea of what this app can do. Okay, we're going to go ahead and show you guys. Here's basically what the app does. This kind of shows you, says your task on a timeline. It said it also syncs with Evernote. So you've got that in there as well. Uh, focus on what matters most. So you got a lot of where you can select your workplace on the bottom. Uh, complete it, the important. You can snooze the rest for later. So you have a lot of customization there. And then, of course, they said uh, it gives you like an all done section on here. Of course, you have in here your description telling you all about the app itself. Um, right here, of course, it says upcoming. They're going to charge you a premium subscription for this. They used to have that when this app first came out, but then they took it away. And now they're thinking about going back to it. Now, as far as the last April 15th update, of course, you can see in here the new. Uh, things that they've done and of course this is their version history so we're gonna go ahead and get into the app now so let me go ahead and get out of this okay so here it is this is swipes now I have nothing in here because the only reason I'm not using this app on a daily basis right now is only because it's missing a few features that I normally use uh, it does work it is a very good app so I want to let you guys know that if it's something for you then definitely uh, go ahead and get it. Of course you have that little number up here on the top. This gives you your getting started menu on the bottom. You have a little clock right here. gives you what you have scheduled. This of course is your list, which you see I have nothing in there. And the little check mark tells you that you have everything all done. The bottom right corner is three little dots. You tap that. That's going to give you a list, a filter, a search, and your settings. So if you go into settings, you now have the options, your theme, of course the upgrade. So if I tap on that, you're going to see that you can't update right now. And then they want your suggestions and so forth. Of course you have your snoozes, your help, the integrations, which I said works with Evernote. Of course you can log out and you can sync. So if we go into options now, you have your little tweaks, adding tasks to the bottom, using a standard bar your sounds, your snoozes, and app permissions. Okay, now from here, I'm going to hit add on the bottom. Of course, you can add your task here. So we're going to just type in test. going to hit the arrow. There it is. Tap on it again. Now it's going to give me the options here. Add the action, create the time, repeat, add tags. So if I hit the today, you can either set it for these preset settings if you want or you can go to pick a date. So I want it for today which is the 21st. I'm going to tap on that time clock. Now this is what I don't like. This is what I'm hoping that the app developer fixes. You have to scroll your finger around this little circle to make the time. And of course it won't go past your existing time. And that I don't like because it's not very accurate and it only goes by fives. So there's no way to do it by ones. That I didn't like too much on this app. Uh, so that's hope, something I'm hoping that they fix. Of course on the very top you see you got Evernote. You've got your share button. It allows you to share your stuff. And then of course you have your trash button. Do you want to delete it? Yes. Alright. And then pretty much like I said it does work. So if I scroll down here. Let's say let's bring my notification center down. Okay. So right here in notification area you can see 
If I look under swipes, you can tell I have no task. Of course, they can give you your show button, and of course, you have ad, which brings you right into the ad screen. And then that's it. So you have a, it has a lot of little features on it, a lot of little to-dos, little integrations in case you guys need those. So, like I said, I'm working with the developer. I'm trying to tell them what they need to work on and improve. So I told them I would do an app review on it, and I wanted to give you guys that information, let you guys know about it, and see what you think. All right. So if you guys like this video, hit that like below. Don't forget to comment if you have any comments, and subscribe if you haven't. I'll catch you guys later with some more reviews. Thanks for watching.